Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in today's video, I'd like to talk about something that's been bothering me and maybe a lot of other people in the Battlefield community, and that is that it seems like DICE, or, well, EA Games, I should say, wanna try as much as they can to ignore and turn all focus away from Battlefield 1, despite the fact that, as I've been doing a little bit of research into this, I got my suspicious confirmed. Battlefield 1 is by far the most sold Battlefield in the entire history of the franchise. Oh no, you missed that! Sorry. So, not long ago, this article from IGN was released and is based on an interview with Vince Sampella that confirms the next Battlefield. So now, I will put this article in the description and it's an interesting read but what is by far the most interesting thing about this article is that not even once do they mention Battlefield 1 by name. And this is interesting because many times they talk about sales and uh, most popular game and so on and so forth. Both Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 is mentioned because the new game is inspired by those two titles. Battlefield 2042 is discussed quite a lot. And uh, one of the things that is mentioned is that uh, specialists are not coming back. And Sampella is kind of careful with how he expresses himself when he talks about how the community reacted to this implementation that normally is described as Hero Shooter, which we see in a lot of other shooter titles. Now, the fact of the matter is, this article even brings up other games, such as, of course, Call of Duty, which is, uh, or has been described as, the most common competitor to the Battlefield franchise. And they even touch on the topic of what is described as transmedia space, you know, TV series and stuff like that because of Fallout and Last of Us and uh, maybe some other titles. And, uh, well, they are open to that, yeah, but that uh, the article didn't say much more than that. Again, it's quite a read, but what's most telling about this article is what is not mentioned. Again, Battlefield 1. Again, so when the topic comes out about outselling Call of Duty, Sampella says that some titles have outsold Call of Duty, and they have outsold us, vice versa, not mentioning what title. And it's, there is no question that this is Battlefield 1. Maybe also Battlefield 3, I'm not entirely sure, but there is no question that Battlefield 1 is the number one game to mention in this uh, situation. Because, I don't know if you remember, but when Battlefield 1 was released, Call of Duty had a horrible release, some space shooter that was really, really well, re uh, poorly received by the Call of Duty community. And it actually started before the games were released with the trailers. The Battlefield 1 trailer was like, it was just hyped up to the moon, while the Call of Duty trailer was really, really frowned upon. Once the two games were released, things didn't really change much in that regard. So. What are these actual sales numbers, and why is it so hard for EA to talk about it? Well, I can't verify these numbers, but I will put a link in the description for you to check this out on your own, and by all means do some research yourself and see what you can find. But even if these numbers are off by several millions, the 25 million sales of Battlefield 1 is most likely one of the games that Sampella is referring to when he says that some of the best titles of Battlefield has outsold Call of Duty. Now, 7 million copies of Battlefield 3, which is on a good, respectable number 2 on this list, perhaps that was also better than Call of Duty at that time, I don't know. But what I also want to mention is that the difference, if these numbers are correct, the difference between Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 3 would be 8 million copies, and that is actually more than the entire sale of Battlefield 5. Yes, the difference between Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 3 is bigger than the overall sales numbers of Battlefield 5. And yes, these statistics doesn't even include Battlefield 2042. So let me share some of the drama that we in the Battlefield community are fully aware of, but if you haven't heard it, here is uh, my take on it. After Battlefield 1 was such a huge success, the pressure was on for DICE to perform with the next title. That title was Battlefield 5, and it, by the Battlefield 1 standard, totally flopped. Now, how much of a part of this is actually political is anybody's guess, 
but there's no denying that the outcome of the 2016 United States presidential election had a big impact on the world of entertainment and Battlefield 5 that was released in 2018 was no exception. It is clear that DICE and EA underestimated the problems with skewing historical facts, important historical facts, when you're making an entire gameplay franchise based on, well, partly based on historical events, such as World War I and World War II. Now that being said, historical facts doesn't necessarily make a game any better or any worse, but Battlefield 1 clearly was received as a much better game than Battlefield 5 that was released only two years later. So now after a drama storm, one of the famous quotes from Patrick Söderlund, then chief design officer of EA, if you don't like it, don't buy it, this combined with the drama and the poor sales got him fired. Now I've already talked about this a lot so for this video I'm going to spare you some of the most juicy details but they are not hard to find if you really want them. So yes, with Patrick Sjordlund being fired there was a lot of developers that left DICE Studios and these are of course the developers that created Battlefield 1. Now obviously they also created Battlefield 5 but I don't think they look at that as a merit. So now obviously if we up put this all together, the problem with all these developers leaving DICE uh, together with Patrick Söderlund is that it's really going to be difficult to continue building on something that these developers have already created. Battlefield 1 is built on a different version of the Frostbite engine and the developers are now using the same engine or a different version of or an updated version of the engine that created Battlefield 2042. It is maybe also possible, but now I'm just speculating here, that the amount of extra content that they potentially could put in to a follow-up of Battlefield 1 is very limited because, well, there wasn't all that many weapons and vehicles at that time, so maybe they feel like it would just be repetitive even if they tried. Then again, even if Battlefield 1 actually does give us this World War 1 feeling, as inaccurate as it may be, historical accuracy has never really truly been that important for any game that, well at least not any game in the Battlefield franchise. I mean, it's there, the look is there, but the way that these weapons function, the way that these um, vehicles function, it's not designed to be accurate historically, it's designed to be a game. So, uh, well, there's a lot of people in the Battlefield 1 community that are still hoping that we are gonna have some updated version of Battlefield 1 or a new Battlefield 1 or maybe some extra maps, some extra DLCs, whatever. Right now it seems very very distant but I guess we can hope that the next Battlefield inspired by Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 is going to be worth our time. Anyway, there is a few more minutes left of Battlefield 1 gameplay. This game is just epic. I believe this is still the most or at least one of the most played battlefields in the game franchise. Um, but then again, these numbers are very very hard to come by or very very hard to verify. So it's also anybody's guess. Thank you for watching. Are you kidding me, crossbow? Crossbow and water. Five bullets. Wait, I killed a medic there. I'll just use his weapon. Um. 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 Bomber coming. Another car. Here, 
Munition für dich. Also wie der Wehr, eindeutig feindlich. Ja. Na, na. Munition, hier! We have level 4 oh. sniper guy. Oh. <laughs> level 4 sniper 31 and 10. The... Oh, okay. A nice revive. Oh, nice! Out here, man, munition! Munition, got two! Nice, he's on the other. An enemy behemoth is en route. Yeah, in the in the bunker. <laughs> Holy moly! I keep you heal. Oh. More guys coming. Ah, a little bit too aggro. I should have backed. Oh, nice, 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 nice. 